Recently, we just had a Logic Pro update that included a bunch of new sounds. So I thought we'd take a look at how you can update the sounds that come in Logic Pro if you missed the prompt to do it when you first launch the new version. So I'm here in Logic Pro. There's no project open or anything. That's fine because we just need to go to the Logic menu. So if you press VOM. Menu bar, Apple. And that puts you where you have your Apple menu, file, edit, all that stuff. If you view it right, Logic Pro. you get over to Logic Pro. And if you view it down, Logic, about Logic, settings, control surfaces, key commands, sound library, submenu. Go down to where it says sound library and view it right. Sound library, submenu, five items, download essential sounds, dimmed. So you can download essential sounds. Download all available sounds. Or download all available sounds. Now you see essential sounds was dim. That's because I already have them installed. But if you have any sounds left to install, you can download all available sound via space on that and it will do it. But what if you want to manually select what sounds to download? Let's keep going down this list. In fact, I'm just going to hit VON to jump to the bottom of the list. Relocate sound library ellipsis. Relocate sound library. That's if you want to put your sound library like say on an external drive or something like that. I'm going to go up from here. Open sound library manager ellipsis. Open sound library manager. That's what we're looking for via space on that. Sound library manager. Dialog. Sound library manager. And this is now a list of all the available sounds that you can choose to install. So if I view right, select all uninstalled button, you have select all uninstalled. So this will select everything that is not currently installed. If we view left from here, table, no selection. You have a table and this table will show you all the different sound packs. Let's interact with this in table row one of 20 essential sounds and instruments for logic pro and main stage on check checkbox has alternate items installed. Selected essential sounds and instruments for Logic Pro and main stage. Uncheck checkbox level one. We are right. Installed. It says installed. So that means all the essential sounds are installed, right? You can think of this as a table with two columns. The left side of Pavia left. Essential sounds and instruments for Logic Pro and main stage. Uncheck checkbox. Has alternate items. Gives you the different categories and you can check this to install everything within a category. And if you view right. Installed you'll see the status of that category, whether it's installed or if I view down error. Incomplete, collapsed. You see it says incomplete if I view left. Sound packs, uncheck checkbox collapsed. That tells me that there are some sound packs still to be installed, view down error. Producer packs, uncheck checkbox collapsed. You see it went from sound packs to producer packs. View sound up. packs, uncheck checkbox collapsed. And you see that also says collapse. So if I press view backslash. Row two expanded. It will expand this list and I can see what's in here. 8-Bit Legends, Chiptune, uncheck checkbox. 8-Bit Legends, that's one of the new ones. So that one I'm guessing is not installed. Alpha Waves, Modern Ambient, uncheck checkbox, has alternate items. 8-Bit Legends, Chiptune, uncheck checkbox. And you can see, you can go through and see what the different ones in here are. Sound Packs, uncheck checkbox, expanded 18 items and closed, level one. If I go back up to the upper level where it says Sound Packs and via backslash. Well, collapse. That will collapse it. So you're able to go through and manually select what you may want to install. But to be honest, I would normally just recommend you use the install all uninstalled. I'm going to stop interacting with this table, table and view right. Select all uninstalled button. Select all uninstalled all. and cancel but install default button. Now you can go ahead and go through that table and manually check everything and make sure everything is installed. But this is a quick way to do it. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit install and let it install all of the stuff that's not installed yet. Logic Pro, dialog, 66% progress indicator, password application, system dialog, the Apple Music Apps content installer. Logic Pro wants to install your download of instruments and sounds. The Apple Music Apps content installer is trying to install Apple software. Enter your password to allow this. Secure edit text has keyboard focus. All right, and now I can just enter my system password, my computer password to let it install One system dialog all the stuff. Logic Pro, progress indicator, installing. Installing 37% progress indicator. And you see it's now installing. Logic Pro dialog. Progress indicator. Indexing Apple loops. Progress indicator. Progress indi Logic Pro has no Windows. Logic Pro has no Logic Pro Logic Pro has Logic Pro has no Windows. And because I had no projects open previously. Logic Pro Logic Pro has no Windows. That's what it's telling me when it's done. Now if I VOM menu bar Apple Logic Pro. Go back to the logic menu, be down. Logic, about logic, settings, control surfaces, key commands, sound library, submenu. Go back to sound library. Sound library, submenu, five items, download essential sounds, dimmed. Download all available sounds, dimmed. You see, download all available sounds is dimmed. That means everything is installed as well. Closing menu. 
Thank you for checking out this tutorial. I hope you found that useful and helpful. If you got any tips you'd love to share with the community, please feel free to leave those in the comments below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe both to the YouTube channel and to the email list found at logic.band. That way you can get a free getting started with Logic course and I can let you know when the Logic Keyboard Ninja key commands have been updated and keep you in the loop on everything going on at logic.band. Want to go deeper on this topic or anything relating to macOS, VoiceOver, Logic, or GarageBand? Then book yourself some one-on-one -on -one training by visiting logic.band slash training. Want to support us? Then visit logic.band slash support where you can make a one-time or ongoing donation. You can also join the band by visiting logic.band slash member and you'll get bonus tutorials, a Q&A with me, and more. Link Links to everything plus a blog post with supplemental information for this tutorial is in the description. And as always, happy recording.